morning, Mama. <laughs> Let me set up this awesome tripod right here. Oh, yeah. Good morning, guys. It's totally with Tolly's Detail on Family Vlogs. What's wrong? You don't really like what I'm wearing? And today I want to show the slap it together setup that I've done with the pickup truck. Whoever saw the video, who knows that I don't have my uh, van right now. This is a dealer. Gotta go on mobile. Once I get back to the shop, hopefully I'll be able to shoot the video. Yeah, that's slap it together. How do I call that? Uh, yeah, something that I slapped together in like two and a half hours, maybe even less. Hey. He's too scared. Yo, yo, good. Say hi, hey. Daddy. Can you grab the camera. Said, you look you very pay, beautiful. How much you pay me? Thank you. And he was I don't think. Uh, I don't think they want to hear that. They, <laughs> they want to hear this. Someone asked uh, about uh, showing the setup of this truck. All right. Before Stop I, getting distracted, honey. Before I get into this video of the setup. First thing I want to point out is this is not my truck. This is a rental, and this was put together like in two hours and some change. Two two hours and sixteen minutes. Didn't take my time with this because this is not my truck. It's a rental, but temporary. Whatever I did here is because I do maintenance washes, and I do those maintenance washes Monday through Friday. Anywhere from five to fifteen vehicles. Just depends on the day. Let's start from the back here. You know, be like one of those uh, pretty women. Ta -da. Start over here with the generator. Uh, let's make this quick. Certain things that I have set up the way I do right now, because I strictly do wa uh, maintenance washes, which involves washing, tire dressing, wheels, interior vacuum, wipe down. So this is why I only have a few spray bottles just in case. So keep in mind, this is the setup that I'm uh, holding right now, temporary because I need to, you know, st still make my money when I get my van back. Still currently at the dealer, just no update. We have a $275. Dollar? 275 gallon tank. We use dinner's water, so we don't need to dry the vehicles to worry about water spots. DeWalt 2.5 gallon per minute pressure washer. Did I say that right? It's 2.5 gallon, 2.5 gallons of water per minute, 3,400 PSI. There you go, I think that's a bit better. A six uh, horsepower Stanley vac vacuumer, eight gallons, Walmart. 4,375 watt Harbor Freight Predator generator. Now let me just move this out of the way. That's what I was trying to get for you. Okay. Thank you. First off, I had this tow to in the shop. This is the one I took from the from the shop because obviously my whole other setup is set up in my van. 12 volt DC pump, water pump. You can see that. It's simple as this, just hose, hoses coming out of this, going in, and uh, pumps into the pressure washer. It's, it's like 60 bucks for that yeah. pump. 
that's the battery I just threw it right there so we kind of connect with the clamps and as always I like to have a charger right away right there you see that charger a maintenance charger it charges the battery now this cable going right here this clamps to the battery on off switch it's a flow jet pump 12 volts same thing bucket? yeah and uh, here's one thing I like about these pumps it's self priming so it will only pump water when it feels like it lost pressure to keep the flow a whole bunch of hose here with spray nozzle Customized by tool. Originally, you were spraying, right? Yeah, I had to use bottles. But, uh, you know, it's about progress, it's about uh, efficiency. Yeah. So, make it easier on yourself. Yeah. There's a bucket here, wash mitt bucket that I have. And I have these cover lids, which is just water and soap. Super clean degreaser right here. It's like kind of my to go cleaner for everything right now another bucket right here for wheels I like to use microfiber towel for all the wheels because a lot of wheels are kind of painted black and I just don't really want to use a brush these guys are like from a car seat you know vacuumer hose always have to take it out pressure washer hose yeah you can come back here also I have to take it out connect it right over here and then the pressure washer gun is right here still has water no brushes nothing huh just brushes for what no just asking and just um gas tank oh okay, you can another extension brushes. cord that's for brushes for uh like for big trucks to use yeah. extension six foot stick blower a uh, another bucket for my uh, interior Okay. Wiping with a towel inside. So it's already prepared. And yes. Done. One of the things I like about this cage because you can use literally clamps to hold up your hoses, vacuum, vacuum hoses, pressure washer hoses, extensions. Kind of strap this down, you know, just for safety purposes. Oh, so you're loaded. <laughs> yeah, over here is my uh, rubbing alcohol with water for the windows. And then just uh, a little bit of, uh, oh, you is. know, accessories and top knot. That's it, nothing else. Clean towels, kind of dirty towels. Oh, love, stand back. I gotta tell you something right now. I've been buying like the $20, $30, $40 uh, foam cannons for a pressure washer. And so far out of MTM for a pressure washer is the best foam gun. In what sense? Last overlasted like five of them in the time being that I had. How much I, is this? The one? Third, this one is the uh, hundred bucks. Oh, the expensive But I think one. I can find like I think you can find an eight for like eighty dollars. It's the same one. PF twenty two. It's the PF twenty two MTM storage. Kind of uh, you know just random stuff. Another stick. Then there's more stuff right there. What kind of stuff is that? Isopropyl mix for, you know, I like rubbing alcohol, what can I say? Don't, don't give people some wrong ideas. Oh no, not, not, <laughs> not, not in that way. So right here, I oh, also love this thing right here. The Liquid Crystal G-Technic C2 version three. What do you 3. use it for? That's like sealant, okay. uh, silica sealant. With so, your gloves? Um, oh, and gloves are laying around here, same thing. From one, Some right there, some right here. So yeah, and these water bottles are basically from customers' cars. So that's so, Queen's cars. Yeah, but I have to take the, you know, I take them, I don't spill them out. I think that I refill the buckets when I don't have access to water and I don't want to waste my DNI's water like for the wheels or for plastics. So I use up these water and that's why they're laying here. Towels hanging right here are for jams. Ew. Oh, mm -hmm. they're not that dirty. So, well, but it's when it's washed, it's just to wipe yeah, and dry. So so. That's pretty much what I got on the setup. Right here is perfectly fine. We need to think of a thumbnail. What I, what I do, do I, do I, on the toes? <laughs> yeah, so Something okay. different. Okay. Well, Sue up, oh, Isaac up. I don't know. This is actually pretty sturdy. <laughs> this, but the, 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 the two, yeah, whatever. Look what Daddy's doing, guys. Next time.
Okay, five, four. It's five. Yeah. So just do it like this? Yeah. Tomnail? Like this. Hold on, let me do a couple of sides so you can choose. Because it's a little bit darker. The sun is setting. Yeah, good. Oh, man. <laughs> Freaking YouTube. Making me do all this crazy stuff. Oh. No, he's a, he's a scary cat. He's very careful. Make sure you include that. So, huh? Make sure you include that. We do videos together as a family. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is not something that I would recommend though. Um, depending on the situation, the circumstances of people, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is this is why I have it. It's not my op. It's, that's not what I prefer. But guess what? This is what I got. This is what. This is where I'm at. <laughs> Working with it almost Careful. two weeks. Tomorrow's gonna be actually two weeks uh, that I'm gonna have this guy. Really? Yeah, Friday. In Sunday, last week. Uh, last last week. And then yeah, Friday. Yeah, right. So yeah, it's gonna be like two months, two weeks. Not really. One well, thing I wouldn't prefer a truck over a van is because if I need to go to a store, uh, pick something up oh, or whatever. Oh yeah. And yeah. How, do, how do people do that? If I'm by myself and I, you know, I, I kind of don't feel comfortable leaving it, you know, unattended. Yeah. Outside in the parking lot that anybody can come and snatch something. <laughs> Other thing with this setup, this is something like I want to say it would be for temporary because. If you have to constantly take out your vacuumer, vacuumer hose, pressure washer, pressure washer gun, and do it at every stop, guess what? You're wasting a lot of time. But the weight? The weight on here isn't that great. The, uh, it's because of this type of truck, 1500. You can't get like a 2500, 3500 truck, the weight could be way better. This is from uh, 1400 to 1900 pounds, payload capacity. The only thing, good thing about it is that it's a truck, but then, uh, you know, everything is exposed. It would be annoying to take everything out if you need a truck and I put everything yeah, back man, in. I, Anthony, a and Professional Service. Oh man, I feel you. You know what? He, he does, you know, lawn, uh, lawn care and washing. So whichever job he's doing, he has to swap out every time. Well, if he has a truck, wouldn't it be looking crazy for a cheap trailer? That way, it's probably easier. He's been talking about a trailer. Yeah. So maybe that's, like Craigslist. That's that's that, that, that's his choice. That no, I'm just ready. saying people that have a truck. I. What did I miss anything? No, I think you got it good. Nothing else. Nothing flies out when you're driving. Uh, yeah, that, that's one of the things. There you go. You reminded me. And I'm also constantly looking in the mirrors, like man. That I'm not losing anything because <laughs> you know how many times I drive on the road and somebody has something in yeah. their back and I just see. Poof, fly out of the truck yeah it's true it's happened I, I've seen it so many freaking times this is where I'm just like ah because I've heard some people say like oh you know what what's a good setup uh, on the outside of the truck is because you're not breathing chemicals or whatever I'm like I, I've been working with the van and the old one and the new one I'm like they're all in gowns they're clothes I can't smell anything and I try not to carry around like harsh your, chemicals it's not like you're so, working in the van so other thing is this is strictly for maintenance washes. When I need to do a detail, I bring it to the shop. That's why I don't have a room for an air compressor, like extra tools that I need, you know? That's why I stick yeah. detailing and the, stick with details at the shop. Yeah. There you go. Let me know what you think, uh, pickup truck versus my van setup. Who knows who saw my van setup? And now that I have to deal with this in old days of starting, <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's painful, guys. I, 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 it's I, not that bad if you do one or two cars a week, I think. Yes, a week? Oh. Well, you know, when you first started, you didn't get a lot okay. of calls. You got so, one or two calls a week, literally. Babe, what I do recently, like 14, I know, 10, but that's what I'm 13. saying. If someone's starting out, they're not going to get 14 cars so, in one you, day. Okay, so let me, let me throw this in there. How people go, like, I stick with details, and it's fine for me to have a smaller tote. But just in short, I know I'm talking too much here in this video, but this is what I do want to throw this information out there because trust me, I, I've tried these situations 
sometimes you're going to have a rough patch of trying to get, you know, details, actual physical details. In. And I'm talking about like a $300 detail, $500 detail on a vehicle versus washing. So just from my experience with the hours I spent on detailing, three hours up to 10 hours on one vehicle but that also plays a role. If it's just interior or if it's above job, wash and wax, it all plays a role on, the, on what you're doing. So if I were to wash, wax, interior detail for like a SUV, I'll be charging 300 to 350 bucks. Honestly, how many times I try, I always end up spending around five to six hours. And I'm talking about a good detail. I'm not talking about something you just kind of wipe it down and go the five six hours i get 300 to 350 bucks right and if i charge 50 60 dollars per vehicle which i do mostly a lot of trucks areas like brooks yeah you just I, one to two small vehicles that's it so it's about 60 uh, 60 bucks and uh, i do about eight in that one location right 60 times eight if you do 10 vehicles right which that happened to 10 that's 600 bucks Time-wise, I will be done probably, uh, let me think first of all, so I don't, I don't wanna lie. Usually if I leave here around 8.30, I get there 9.30, 10, right? Because it's a long drive. I'm talking about specifically one location that I do, and that's a lot of vehicles in one spot. So I get there 9.30, and I do finish there around two. Two, like sometimes sooner. Sometimes later, sometimes three, if you have Yeah, time. but that's when it's more vehicles. Oh, okay. Talk. You're not with me, baby. You don't know. Okay, okay, okay. So, Actually, I was two sometime. and... Yeah, you did. In your previous video, you did. <laughs> uh, so, it's two is probably the latest, around eight vehicles. So, if that was 9, 30, 10, let's say... Let's just do 9, 30. Who cares? 9, 30, so that's... Okay, let, let, 9, 30, 10, 30 is one. 11, 30 is two. 12, 30 is three. Uh, one thirty is four, so about four and a half hours, and I get six bills on a good day. On a good, well, there's better days and there's yeah. worse days. I don't know if you guys work faster and differently, and you have different prices that might work for you. But um, this is Plus, what works for me now. You got blessed with customers that have multiple vehicles where you can go to one location. Not every every city or every has that, unfortunately. We, we live in a big city where we have a lot of those customers. You know how many people do the same thing? Oh, Multiple okay. Vehicles? I just don't know, you know. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. This is a uh, 2018, by the way. Sixth month of 2018.